All right, everyone, here we go. How about a mid-month overview? I did one last month. I don't always do them. I only do mid-month overviews for all signs when yeah, it's a powerful month. And last month and this month are some wicked shit. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're going to take a look. It's for all signs. It doesn't matter what your sign is. It doesn't, you, know, you just need to be a human being. That's it. Uh, straight up energy reading. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Uh, this reading is technically timeless because you're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. So here we are. We're after the 11-11 portal, right? We're after the eclipse. We're after, and we've still got runoff from October's massive energy. All right. So did the Sesame Street Hierophant do its job? It's in the process of it. The 11-11 portal energy lasts, well, some will tell you 11 days, but there's no exact anything on it. It's going to run off toward the end of the month, and it's, it's with us for the rest of the month. The thing about November, not unlike October, it's split in two, right? And I, that's why I keep talking about Sagittarius season, because that's the second half of the month, right? We're starting to bleed into it. And what that's going to do, it's, I keep saying the archer takes the shot. Right? It's sort of like what the uh, Sesame Street Hierophant taught them in the 11-11 portal. They never took their shot. We saw that in a couple of the readings that came up. Well, here in the pre-shuffle on the surface, let's do a mid-month check-in, see where we're at. I've got the Four of Pentacles, just surface energy, nothing more. I asked the universe, give me the soulmate cycle right here in mid-November. You know, it rides out to the rest of the month, of course, and I'm not just pulling on the moment. But I've got a Four of Pentacles. Now, that's holding back. Right? That's my miser card. They don't spend that money. They just sit on it. Right? And it's crossed by the Three of Cups. Again, uh, and I'll show you why in a second. We keep seeing that student card, and it's here. This person is learning that if they don't open up, they don't get anything. Nothing happens. Just like the miser eventually learns. Miser wakes up one day and says, why am I living in a shack? Hmm. You know. Well, if you don't break into the mattress and spend the money you live in a shack. Your person's living in a shack because they never opened up or they kept giving to a third party. That's possible too. Now they're withholding from that third party if that's the case for you. Okay? They're holding back from that. Uh, in other words, they're not giving love to it. Underneath that is the fool crossed by the three of pentacles. The fool, again, somebody here it's, it, there's a strong urge to do something, to have something. None of these people want this to be over. They, they all regret. You know, you see that in everybody's reading. They regret it. They do. They all regret not opening up, not telling you how they feel. It, but there's always psychological reasons why they didn't do that. And that's what we talk about a lot. Right? Underneath that is the card of the student. And they, what they're learning, right? The Page of Pentacles. What they're learning is that if you don't tell someone how you feel, they don't know. If you don't spend the money, you don't get the mansion. you stuck in a shack. And underneath that, just for fun, is, is strongest. One of the strongest Five of Pentacles fear of missing out energy I've ever seen. This should cause some forward movement, especially in the second half of the month, which is what I'm pulling on right now because of that Sagittarius season. And Sagittarius, the archer takes the shot. That's the message from the universe. A shot they never took before, a good number of them are going to take. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's do this. Let's do a reading. Come on now. Give me the soulmate cycle here in mid-November 2022 universe. Let's do an overview. All right. Wow. These cards are jumping out of the damn deck. This first card out is before the cut. So why the fuck am I here? And I'll tell you why I'm here in part. I wasn't sure if I was going to pull this reading on Sunday or not. But I always teach you guys that weather is energy, right? Everything is energy. Weather, too. The weather here today where I live, it's like the Wizard of fucking Oz out there. Clear sky, winds whipping, bending trees as far as they can bend and dry. I mean, it is dry. I'm talking 10% humidity kind of dry. Uh, I got me a little weather station, so I keep track of it. Because obviously, weather is energy. I like to know what's going on. Oh, fucking unreal. My sister calls it the Geek Station 2000. She can go fuck off. <laughs> this first card out is before the cut. That's why the fuck are we here? This is amazing weather to pull in. 
it, it all of that energy I'm talking about the dry air the wind it makes everything clear it helps me to do a reading and this is this is some wicked shit this is the ten of Pentacles is why we're here somebody coming to get it somebody realizing they don't have it I talked about a third party already it already came up in the surface energy for a lot of you now a third party you hear that a lot right it, it and a lot of you discount it because you're not your person's not married or they're not in a relationship a third party is any energy it can be inside them just the way they think right they got it wrong they got the ten pentacles wrong it could be a dog it could be a family it could be a telephone pole outside I'm not going to reach out to the to the DF because that telephone pole is there I'm not gonna do it until they till they move that telephone pole then I'll do it it can be that that could be what's keeping you apart I doubt it and if it is you might want to rethink your person but I have to make it clear that everything is energy and it's really hard for people to get that mostly because most people have a hard time separating themselves from being a human being you know probably because we're taught that we're this omnipotent being we're the center of everything we're not and I'll explain that in a perspective article I'm gonna write in the blog very soon I'll explain but let me tell you something after that ten of Pentacles the four of cups this is the most fucking dis I don't I don't even think disappointment is the word it's a apprehension mixed with disappointment that's the best way I could describe it today's vocabulary word is apprehend apprehension or apprehension maybe we create a new one um, yeah, somebody realizing the Sesame Street Hierophant from the 1111 portal energy, which is all over this reading still, taught this person that they got ten pentacles wrong, but they've learned that before, but they never wanted to look at it. Now this card tells me they are looking at it. And if they are married or in a relationship, they're disappointed with their choice. They settled. It's that kind of energy where someone realizes they settled, right? That's, co that's pop culture, common vernacular. Someone settled. It's like that. But if, even if they're not, they're disappointed that uh, they may have blown a chance to get it with you. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle here in mid-November 2022 universe. Let's do this. Give me a reading. It knows what I mean by that. It'll be fine. All right, here we go. Give me a reading, universe. Okay. That didn't take much. A card we rarely see in this soulmate cycle. And if you watch me, you know exactly what card it is. I say it's very rare in a soulmate cycle. We've already had the Three of Cups, my biggest card of communication in the Minor Arcana. Here's a big one too, Eight Wands. All of that Four of Cups, disappointment, what they're realizing about Ten Pentacles, that settling or they got it wrong, whatever you want to say, is changing to forward movement. Um, it's nervous forward movement, I won't lie to you. That's why it's apprehensive disappointment. It's, it's two words blended together, apprehension and disappointment. They don't like what they're feeling, but what they're feeling is you. It's forward movement toward, the, toward you. That's what's fueling this. And I didn't know that was there. It's two cups. They're, they're not, if, their person, if your person's married or single. If they're single, it's, it's an energy inside them, okay, within them of how they live. They're no longer giving to that old energy. If they're married or in a relationship, um, they're not even thinking about that person right now. It's, it's so strong right here. And I think this is part of what the 1111 energy did. Uh, we got forward movement over our whole reading. It's minor arcana. It's always up to their free will, but never more so when it's minor arcana. But this is, this is someone, you might, you might pick up on this energy. Pay attention to your dreams. It's likely to come through in dreams, okay? Pay attention. And your astrology, your horoscopes might be telling you the same thing if you read the in-depth stuff, not just your regular read. It's true. Uh, write down your dreams. Write down everything. Uh, this is very strong energy. Right here is the energy around your connection. Right here is how your person is behaving in the 3D. Right here is their soul. Oh, I can't wait to pull on that here. Right here is the hidden, the hidden energy, the message from the universe. It's read with the energy of your connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top, and you bet your sweet asses, and I know they are. There's going to be a link for an extended in the description. Because um, I got a reading that so far, 
I, this is all I need to see. This crossed by the uh, two of cups. And all of that crossing ten pentacles. It's fucking mind-blowing. Energy around the connection right now. Told you. Fucking mind-blowing. Hierophant. That's right up there. That's right up there. With, uh, well, not the hierophant. The hermit. I'm sorry. It reads like a hierophant. It reads like a fucking hierophant. You know, it is the energy of the 1111. It is still soul energy. It's their soul awake. I'm drawn to the light bulb lit up. This is, this is what the Sesame Street Hierophant of the 1111 portal is doing to your person. The energy around your connection right now is someone who's been stuck in their shell is coming out. The hermit's coming down for supplies. It's all you're thinking, all they're thinking about is this connection. It's right here in the overall energy. And it's causing an urge to do forward movement. Now, it gave me minor arcana because they're a bit apprehensive. I can pick up on that. But uh, it's scary. This tortoise here, he been in this shell for a long time. It's nice and safe in there. It's not safe coming out. Um, how are they behaving in the 3D? Yeah, Burger King. Yeah, that's the apprehension. That's the, uh, it, it's the spot on. It's the King of Wands. It's the apprehension. It's, it's someone here whose who's e ego is in the way. I don't think it's stopping them. I just think that they're trying to brush it off like it's nothing. But you can't. Not with the cards that have come up. You can't, they, this is almost major arcana to me, the two of cups. It's that powerful. They can't. There's this urge to come towards you. Yeah, they try and pretend. It's like I always say that person who trips on the sidewalk and pretends that they meant to do it rather than just take it like a man or a woman, right? And, and, and let people laugh at them. It's someone who's got to pretend. Yeah, I, I planned that. It's cool. It's cool, yeah. It's, it's like that. They're puffing up a little bit. It's okay. We'll see what happens when we clarify. This, is, this shouldn't surprise anybody. Your person is the Burger King, after all. Burger King is as Burger King does. Ego, pride, got to have it their way. Sure, the, uh, the soul is awake, but that tortoise is coming out of their shell the way they feel comfortable. All right. So they, if they do approach you, which I see communication here in the overall energy, uh, it's going to be on their terms. It's going to be sort of... Uh, uh, I don't know, not pagey, but a little cagey, okay? Can I phrase it like that, a little rhyme? Here's the soul energy. We'll see what happens when we clarify. Here's the soul energy. It's bookending this soul energy. Strength. It had to be Major Arcana, and I said that to myself before I pulled the card. If that wasn't Major Arcana, I was going to scrap this reading. It, it, it has to be. It, it, I scrap it because I don't like the message the universe has given me. Or it doesn't make sense. Nothing would make sense if this wasn't a major arcana. You can't have this kind of a hermit here without a major arcana here in this context of this reading. Uh, lions holding one of the roses from the Two of Cups. Their soul is, and there's the Two of Cups, by the way, with the two roses. Um, their, their soul is driving them towards, towards this. The Sesame Street Hierophant of the 1111 portal is doing its job. With the Muppets and everything, I think they even got Oscar the Grouch involved doing a little skit from his garbage can. I believe, I believe that's true. That's kind of what this is. This is all the Elmos and all the, all the fun characters, the Kermits and all of that. And, and here's your person in the middle in the 3D, Oscar the Grouch, right? I even got Oscar the Grouch here. I can pull, I can pull a couple of Sesame Street cards for you. All right, there. Let's just replace that with Oscar the Grouch. How about that? Does that work for you? And this right here in the soul is fucking Cookie Monster. See, everybody here is nice. Everybody here is cool, right? And there's your person in the middle. Go, go towards the, uh, yum, yum, yum. Go towards the uh, soulmate. Nah, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. Right? Like that. Puffing up. There you go. You get your little, there's your Sesame Street. It showed up here. We'll see what happens when we clarify this. This is some powerful shit. Eight of Wands, that's forward movement, and it's hard to resist. What's the, what's, what's the universe want to tell us? It's red with the hermit, which, quite frankly, I almost called the Hierophant again because that's what it feels like. Ten Swords. Yeah. Nobody wants this to be over. That keeps coming up. Okay? They would love nothing more. I, I'll be honest with you. Okay, I'll be honest. They would love nothing more than to be able to blow you off because it means that they won't have to open up. We saw that in the pre-shuffle with that Three of Cups crossing that Four of Pentacles, right? The miser would love nothing more 
than to just sit on the bed. But when the miser starts wanting a mansion and starts getting disappointed that he's living in a shack, yet he's sitting on top of a pile of money, that's when something starts to happen. Sure, the miser is apprehensive about it, the miser being that four of pentacles from the pre-shuffle. Right, they're apprehensive about it because, you know, they've had that money a long time. They've been, you know, it's like your person. They've been living their way a long time. But once you start wanting something, once you start getting disappointed with what you've got, that's when changes start to happen, right? That's when you start to want to make changes that you can make, you know, and that's where we're at here. Nobody wants this to be over. I already told you that. And, it, and when this hermit wakes up, he realizes that they fucked up here. That they put ten swords in something that would have been really good, right? This was a friendly bison. He would have been a good friend, at the very least. And that's what that three of pentacles told us in the pre-shuffle. They don't even have a friendship here. They'll take, I said this before, I don't know what reading it was, 11-11 or the eclipse. I said they'll take anything from you, all right? May have been in the extended, I don't know. I remember, because this energy's been here uh, in some form. But uh, final outcome. Red with Oscar the Grouch here. Hmm? I should just leave Oscar there, shouldn't I? We should just clarify Oscar. Hmm. Well, just remember he was there. I already put him back in his spot. Final outcome. He looks at me while I do the readings, Oscar. He's my head card, my lead card on that deck. Death. Major Arcana. It had to be. It has to make sense with this, and it's, usually, it's red with this, and if it makes sense with this, it has to make sense with this. This had to be Major Arcana. And I said it again, and it was. I did not look. This, is, this, this reading is tight. I will stand by it 100%. What does this mean? This means it's, it, the miser is going to spend the money and get the damn mansion. This is communication when it falls here. This is complete change in behavior. This behavior is changing. Oscar the Grouch is changing into Cookie Monster. And what does Cookie Monster do? He eats fucking cookies. Cookie Monster was over here in the soul. And he's winning. Right? You're the cookies in this analogy, in case it's unclear. They're going to come eat your cookies. You can make that as dirty as you want. I don't care. It's Steve Love Tarot. <laughs> All right. Let's clarify. We're going to need something stronger than the Lightseer deck here. I'm going to clarify with the uh, miniature animal deck. The tiny animals. All right. Here we go clarify the hermit which reads quite frankly as a hierophant I will be honest with you uh, that, that was not a Freudian slip when I pulled that card and I, I know what every card is in this deck obviously it's my main deck right you guys all know the animal deck and you know I know what the card is when I look at it I don't have to read the words on it uh, that's a hierophant that's what that is. But it's the result of the Hierophant energy that's around the 1111 portal. Which we know is around the 1111 portal because as I predicted, that fucking Hierophant showed up in that reading. <laughs> Why is the Hermit here? Tell me about the Hermit. Look at this shit. A complete shit. Why would I say change? Oscar the Grouch is going to change into Cookie Monster. It's right there. It's the world. The most powerful card I can pull. Um, there's just... Somebody wants to turn this around. Somebody's in a new energy. They can't puff up anymore. This snake has the strike, right? My miser analogy is perfect. When that miser starts to realize that this shack sucks and I'm sitting on a pile of money, that's when they go get something. That's when they cut into the mattress and start spending the money. The miser, however, is always afraid. That the reason they don't spend the money, right, is because once they start spending it, then it's all gone. Then they're going to get addicted to it and keep spending it. That's what your person's afraid of too. They're afraid that you're going to cause a whole lot of trouble. They're going to have to leave someone or their whole life's going to change. Their whole routine's going to change. They're worried about all the wrong things. I wouldn't, it's just like the miser is. Miser's worried his whole life's going to change. Well, you're sitting in a shack, motherfucker. Who cares? A anything's better. <laughs> What's on top? Look it. Look it. Come on. Why am I a silver medal? Your second favorite energy read. Did you see what I just did? I didn't know that was there. I ain't looking at this shit. Look. It backs up the whole fucking reading. It's the hermit. I mean, it's the hermit on top of the hermit. It's just, 
a massive change in the energy. The 1111 portal did its job. And let me tell you, the second half of this month, the archer takes the shot. That's the message from the universe. You can take that to the fucking bank. It is. All right, my hunter analogy in a recent reading was good. There's nothing worse than the guy who didn't take the shot. It's one thing to miss, but it's another thing to not take the shot. And you, that guy, that hunter, I know my father was a hunter. He will, he will go to the bar that night. He will lie and say that he took a shot. Because the, the embarrassment of not taking it is too much. You know. We got someone coming to take a shot here. Or changing their life. Big change. This is a big card for the final outcome. Why is the hermit here again? Two of Pentacles. Um, change. Transformation. The butterfly represents transformation. Someone who was, wasn't making a decision before. Right? It, it realizes that they put ten swords in something that would have been really good. They're making a decision. Somebody here knows it's exactly what I just told you, right? Why would the, once the once the miser realizes that they're living in a shack and they don't like it, they've got to do something, okay? There's a the hermit is an old soul energy. Old souls know logic better than Mr. Spock, okay? It don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, as the great Judge Judy tells us, it's not true. So again, they're not happy with what they've got on their side. That you're all they're thinking about with the damn two of cups here crossing eight wands, which in turn is crossing ten pentacles over here. I've got someone here who's got two options and the soul is winning. Cookie Monster is winning. Right? Let's talk to Oscar here. Why is Oscar the Grouch here? King of Wands. Why? Hmm? Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is he here? Hmm? What's going on here? We know it's changing. But this is... <laughs> I see. We know it's changing as I'm shuffling the deck back together. And there's a Wheel of Fortune on it. Come on. This is changing. This is changed. This, this is way more powerful than this card. And these two are read together. And this makes sense with this. We got change here. We, and this makes sense with this even. In turn, by default. Because someone's bringing one of the roses from the Two of Cups. The miser's about to buy a mansion. Okay, this is a complete turnaround. This person is, this energy, this is how your person's behaving in the 3D, the way they normally do. But they can't behave that way anymore because we had the world here. It's new energy. The soul is awake. It's time to make a decision. Wakey, wakey. Right? So this, this, this card tells us that this energy is changing and this card backs it up. It's saying, yes, this is what they're trying to behave like, but it's not going to work. The cobra puffing up is not going to work this time around. All right. What's on top? And I believe it in this energy. Oh, I do. What's on top? Page of page of swords. I almost said page of wands. But it's page, it, it feels a little like it. Um, I, it's the nothing compares to you card. Okay. It's it's someone here. The reason that they're puffing up is it, it, first of all they can't find you anywhere. Whenever I'm drawing these little dots around this little barn owl here. Nothing compares to you. And I know I'm not going to make Ireland cry again with Redneck Sinead. But the reason they're puffing up or trying is because all this is coming up and they don't feel like they can deliver a message on this. And we saw it in the pre-shuffle too with three cups crossing the four of pentacles. That's that apprehension again. I said that apprehension energy was here. It's, it's apprehension because they don't, feel, they don't understand this. This is all new. Cutting into the mattress and spending the money is new to the fucking miser. They don't understand it at all. But there's some sort of drive that's forcing them to do it because they can't sit where they are anymore. The energy's changed. Maybe the ground is shifting underneath the cabin in the, in the miser analogy, in the, in, in the shack, and they got to move. It's like that. You know, no choice. You may not want to spend the money. You may not feel like you can come in and say anything. But this also, but you have to. This also backs up what I said about this card. They may come in, you know, not real pagey, but a little cagey. You know, not quite telling you exactly, you know, how they feel. You know, they come in as a bar barn owl rather than a great horned owl, you know, which, which is on the king of swords in this deck. Why is the uh, uh, barn owl here? Ten of cups. Yeah. Have to. It's everything I already told you. I read the energy first, you know, and then I pull the cards. It's everything I already said. It's ten cups. It's, it's someone here who spies on you a lot, thinking about you. That energy is going to pick up. And as they do, they feel a little bit small. I can put it that way. But there's an urge to, 
to come get this. You're the real happiness. You're the rainbow. They want to turn this from fantasy into reality, but they're nervous about it. You know, this is all new, but they don't have a choice with the world card here and two hermits. There is no choice. They have to make a decision. And the decision, my eye is only drawn to the green. You're the green. Let's talk here to Cookie Monster. Right. Why, why is the strength card here? The, the soul is winning. The strength card in the soul means the soul volume is cranked up. Right? It's cranked up. This is bookending these. There's two hermits over here which say the same thing. This is just telling us why. That's all. And, and not only was this really powerful with two hermits. Remember, the most powerful card the world was crossing it. That's insane energy. Tell me about this strength card and the soul. Why? Why? I think it's because in the miser analogy, the cabin is shifting. The ground under the shack is shifting and they got to move. It's just the way it is. Rolling Stones have a song on It Rang In My Head right now off their Sticky Fingers album. It's the one with the pants and the zipper on it. Uh, it's a very famous album. It's got brown sugar and songs like that on it. Wild horses and all of that. Um, but it's got a song called You Gotta Move. And I think the lyrics are pretty fitting here. <laughs> uh, it's about the soul. When the soul wakes up, you gotta move. You know, It's an old bluesy kind of track. It's pretty cool. Classic Rolling Stones doing their thing. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Because that's why. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the card of the student. Okay, yeah, there, there's apprehension. Yeah, they, they've, again, I get a page. Uh, I get a page on top of a king here, a phony-ass king. And I get on top of the strength, I get a page. This person here, uh, again, there's, there's no choice for them. There is no, someone here, they can be as nervous as they want, but this is communication. And again, it, anything. They'll take anything. A friendship, whatever it is. They just need to relieve themselves of this energy. When the energy gets like this, as the Rolling Stones sang, you gotta move. Okay? When that shack starts shifting down the hill, it's time for the miser to spend the money. What's on top? <laughs> the goat with its feet on fire. In the soul. They got strength over some kind of... It, it's If these were reversed, it'd be different. Uh, but in this case here, they got, it's, it's basically just saying Cookie Monster's winning over Oscar the Grouch over here. Um, there's a lot of, well, it's again, it's the Rolling Stones song. It, it's about um, obsession. It's about too much energy. It's about even the devil on their shoulder is telling them to go towards you now. Okay, can I phrase it that way? You know. I think, this, I think the line in the Rolling Stones song is, when the Lord gets ready, you got to move. It's that kind of thing, you know, or that kind. It's talking about when the soul is awake, which the strength card is, that lion's got a rose, you've got to move. And it's, it's a powerful energy. This is also representing in the soul, in this position, a soul contract being called in. Most of you have a soul contract with this person, one that they are defaulting on and have been. It's, it's, you know, you got to pay when the debt collectors come. Why is the devil here? Believe me, we're in the middle of 11-11 portal energy, about to go into some fire energy. The archer takes the shot. Why is the devil here? King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Someone's about to tell you how they feel. Mm, you know, you got to move, as the Rolling Stones sang. When this energy's here... It's time to move. That's all I can say. I don't need to say anything else. That just backs me up. Someone who, someone, someone here has become, a, well, I'll put it this way. Someone here has become obsessed with this connection under this energy. And it's not surprising. I've been telling you about the Neptune, Neptunian influence, making them obsessed about the soulmate connection and all of that. It's all right here. We got a devil to pull on in the extended now. There's a lot more there than that, I promise you. Ten swords, what's the universe? Well, look at this. Randomly at the bottom of the deck, I did one shuffle. It's that, it's that miser again. The four of pentacles. That's fucking unreal. Look at that. You got to move. Oh, you got to read the lyrics of the Rolling Stones. You got to move. It's so fucking spot on. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I love it. Ah, oh, the DM. I tell you, right here. Okay. Ten of Swords, what you want to tell me here, universe? Besides, 
Oh shit, it's over. I need to fix this. None of them want this over. They all they all fucked up here. You were their ticket to ride. You were their out on their on their phony happiness on their side. And as they spied on you, energy's always in layers. I can riff on the energy. As they spied on you, they saw how phony their Ten of Cups was. And, and there's a huge fear of missing out energy that was up in the pre-shuffle in that Five Pentacles. <sighs> Tell me about the Ten Swords. Talk to us, universe. Fickle old gal, I know it's Sunday. You're having your tea. I got you. All right. Pretty up for tea, right? Right here. Ten of Wands. Mm. Mm. There's a restriction here. It's funny. I said pretty up for tea. That's really weird. And the minute I did that, Gwen Stefani popped in my head. How about that? Gwen Stefani came to our reading. Ah, I feel honored. Uh, she was in a band back in the day when I was young, and she was young too, called No Doubt. They had a song called I'm Just a Girl. It was their first big hit off their third album. Took them three tries. They came a long way from Dairy Queen. I'll give them that. <laughs> but uh, um, in that song, there's a, uh, one of my favorite, favorite fucking lines is, I'm just a girl and they won't let me drive late at night. You know, like, it, it, I love that. It, it always, I always used to respond to that by saying, that sounds like a DMV issue, not a guy issue. You got your corrective lenses on, Gwen. But... At the end of the day, that's what this is. There's a restriction here. There's something that has been, that this person has been allowing to hold them back. What I mean by that is, and again, that line, they won't let me drive late at night. This person is very controlled on their side. Uh, perhaps that's part of what the Four of Pentacles and the Emperor that I showed you that was randomly at the bottom of this deck was, was trying to tell us, okay? Um, and and that's, I, I, everything happens for a reason. And why did I show you that? You know, I, I don't know, I, I, because something here, when something restricts us, when we, like let's say we're in a controlling relationship and that person won't let them drive late at night, metaphorically speaking, okay? Um, we allow that to happen. Nobody got chains on them unless they're chained in the basement, right? And they're fed through tubes and they got a little bucket for their pee. No, it, it, we do it to ourselves. They did it to themselves. They restricted, they put ten swords in this connection because of a burden. Uh, a burden. That's how they see whatever the third energy is on their side. It's a burden. It's a burden that they shouldn't have kept rebooting over and over again. It's a tough energy to describe, but I will say it's, we're going to pull on it in the extended. Somebody here was very controlled on their side. Gemini's, Leo's definitely pay attention. This is very clear when I pull your readings, but this is for anyone uh, it, on any level. On the Gemini and Leo angles, it's very high level control, narcissism, expectations, all that. But for the rest of you, it may just be someone, someone saying, well, I, I'm married, so I'm not going to, or I'm married to my job or whatever. I'm, I'm not going to bother with this connection. They allowed it to happen. They allowed themselves to be, to be restricted. Right? All Gwen Stefani had to do was go get some corrective lenses and they'd have let her drive at night. She'd be fine. But she didn't do that. She made excuses. I'm just a girl. I guess. I guess that's what it is. Some kind of freak. You know? Another line from the song. I realize what the song is about. I'm taking it and twisting it into a metaphor that works here. You know? The way a comedian might twist the lyrics of that song. The way comedians rip apart... Alanis Morissette for her irony and getting it wrong just about every time, if not every time, in that damn irony song. <laughs> uh, but it's true. They did it to themselves. Uh, there was a restriction and they were an excuse machine about it. Now they're not. Now that the soul's awake, they realize that they did it to themselves. There's a lot of pain here. And one other energy that's often associated with the Ten of Swords, very rare, but it's coming off this like a motherfucker, it's guilt. There's guilt here. It could be because some, something on their side counts on them. Or, you know, they don't want to leave someone because they're older or something. We, we see, I see this a lot with someone who wants to leave a spouse, for example. It's just an example. Okay? This is not your situation. But I see this energy a lot or feel this energy a lot for someone who wants to leave their spouse. But they're much younger than the spouse. The spouse might be like 65 and they're like 45. And they're like, oh, I don't want to... You know, they're going to be divorced at 
65. That's just mean. They're never going to find anybody. You know, that kind of thing. It's a, there's some kind of guilt energy here. It's guilt about this connection with you and never coming towards it. But it's also guilt be probably because there's a shitload of burden expectations dumped on this person. They got responsibilities maybe and things like that. But that's all just an excuse. Because when you get cups, you get everything. They can still handle their responsibilities separate from this energy and be with you. Uh, there's always a way. There's an energy that's always a message that's ingrained into the universe for the human race that nobody ever hears. There's always a way. It applies across the board to everything. It's what the it's the one thing the universe wants everyone to know. So there's always a way. We are by human nature excuse machines and again we do it to ourselves we do it to ourselves just like old Gwen she just needed to get glasses and she could have driven at night perfectly fine little lady what's here on top look at that I was just talking about it I was just fucking talking about it and I bet you there it is they came back after a show they came back they came all the way to the top all right the ten wands at the bottom. The universe did want us to see these. Why is the emperor here? The four of pentacles. Something's been holding them back. They held themselves back. They had the power the whole time. The emperor is powerful. It, these two cards coming back. back uh, it, it is absolutely mind-blowing that this would happen. Especially with the ten of wands here. These two cards right here. Uh, coming back. Tell exactly everything I already just got done telling you. The whole diatribe. All of it. It's right there. They had the power the whole time. And that's what they realize. When, when our soul wakes up, which theirs has, that's what they realize. And that, this here is all tied to this devil where there's like 18 layers of energy here on the low side. I've just given you the obsession part about you and never telling you how they feel. I'm trying to keep it for you. But here, there's a toxin here. There's something. And things do become toxic. You don't have to take it to devil. Get it all crazy in your head. Oh, it's not that bad, Steve. Okay, well, fine. It's not that bad, but it, it toxic is toxic. On it, toxic happens on various levels, and keeping yourself stuck. That miser keeping themselves in the in the shack, making excuses, right? Because they don't want to spend the money. That's toxic. It becomes toxic, and it's become an obsession for this person. You are an obsession for this person right now. You are the one that got away, in a sense. Remember that fear of missing out energy? I said it's the most fear of missing out energy I'd ever felt off that Five of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle. Let's talk about change. So this is changing. This this King of Wands, right? Oscar the Grouch is turning a new leaf, right? Why is the death card here? Let's clarify. Unreal. That's fucking unreal. And it showed it to us. I didn't have to show you that those were there. And I did shuffle. I shuffled like a motherfucker. Rewind. You'll see. I didn't just, you know, move it once or something. No. You could hear the shuffling. Look, I'm shuffling. This is what you're hearing. I'm shuffling. Da, 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 da. Why's the death card here? Why's the death card here? Okay. <laughs> oh, I love tarot. It's the Empress. It's you. It's you, you. I just got done telling you they're obsessed with what? This soulmate connection. This is, this, this is changing. Change the death card. The environmental energy around it is someone coming to their senses. It's, it's them being attracted to the soulmate connection, to getting something real for the Ten of Cups. But more than that, it's their Empress energy coming up under this energy. I see it here. The soul is awake. What the universe is trying to tell us here with two hermits, this helps to clarify it, is that both sides of their soul are awake. It's a full hermit. Okay, I can't get any more than this. I don't have a third animal deck to grab to get a third hermit here. I don't need it. I got... it's. I grabbed a second deck of the same deck and threw a hermit on top of a hermit. They're balanced within them. So that's the change. It's someone who comes to their senses a little bit. Someone who's too much in their feels, doesn't know how to process it, may show up a little fucky. Okay? They might. It's possible. I won't lie to you. What's on top? Ace of Cups. What did I say over here? Somebody's coming to tell you how they feel. Ace of Cups. What's changing is this Ace of Cups, which is sealed with cellophane and put in the back of the fridge like a leftover casserole nobody wants, is now getting unopened, or opened, I'm sorry, is now getting the cellophane pulled off and the cup dumped out. 
What's changing? Someone holding back how they feel. Now, this is read with the Page of Swords. All right. They've been spying a long time. They've been looking. They're looking for... Yeah, I'm, going, I'm not going to lie to you. I told you when I see these little dots, right? These little colored dots around the barn owl. Nothing compares to you. Oh, they tried to get out of this. They tried to find something else and the universe was having none of it. That's one of the energies around this devil because there's a soul contract here. You don't get to get out of it. It's not a fucking discover card. You don't get to hang up on them when the collection person calls. It's the fucking universe. This is a soul fucking contract, motherfucker. Not some bill at Best Buy you forgot to pay. No. Somebody coming to tell you how they feel. They might show up a little fucky. Okay? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Come on. Why, yo, you saw me doing this. Whenever I do this, if you're new here, if I do, I don't do that for every card I pull. It's something big. I can feel the energy. It's, I, don't, I can't predict what the card is, but I can feel it. it's a tower. It's communication. Communication death card. To who? The Empress. Who they never told how they felt. And it's, it's designed to fix everything. To tear down something that they missed out on. Get rid of a fear of missing out energy. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Because of the tower. Because of this. Because of the soul contract being called in. Okay? It is. When Discover Card calls, you don't have to pay them. Okay? You could tell them to fuck off if you want and hang up the phone. But when the universe calls, like the Rolling Stones sang on Sticky Fingers... Back in 1971, I believe it was. Correct me, I don't know. 71, something like that. You got to move. This is about as move as you get. And this is red with the Ten of Cups. Coming to make that a reality. Look, the Sesame Street Hierophant is doing its fucking job. Okay? I've got a whole reading with eight wands over it. This is a very important reading. I'm not here on Sunday for my health. And I don't always, if you've been here a while, you know, this is only one of a couple of months this year where I've pulled a mid-month, all right? And I'm not doing a Zodiac fly-through, I'm just doing the overview just to check it out. This is some powerful shit. This is what 11.11 did. It's strong. This is a tight reading. This is some, this is... Again, I'm pulling it on a day where the weather makes it easy to read the energy. It's crystal clear, flying out of the deck. Oh my God, I was just fucking talking about it too. The Knight of Wands. Well, no, I, I said Barn Owl. I, they're showing up like a Barn Owl instead of a Great Horned Owl. And I said, the Great Horned Owl is on the King of Swords in this deck. There it is, center card. It's right there. There's Knight of Wands. King of Swords, Ace of Wands, and crossing the King of Swords is justice. Justice. The black cat and the white cat are about to get together. Why? Because this King of Swords, he's holding the rainbow sword. You might recognize the rainbow from such motherfucking cards as this one. All right, And the card of the student, which we've seen a couple of times in this deck. The page of, 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 of uh, Pentacles. But either way. The King of Swords takes action. This is my King of Action here. Sometimes he's my King of War. Sometimes he's my King of Truth. It's a bit of truth and action. It's Again, it's a little fucky. I won't lie to you. And because it's a little fucky, it's a little emotionally immature, right? It's pagey. This might flare out. This might be like lighting a cigarette in the fucking hurricane. Or go outside my house right now and try to light one. Good luck. Keeping that lighter lit. You're going to need an umbrella around you, and that'll blow away, too. Um, yeah. Ace of Wands. There's a new beginning coming. It's up, to, it's up to you guys what happens with it for reasons I've explained. Now, in the extended, there's a lot that I have to cover. I have to. This devil has a lot around it, and this here message from the universe is worth looking into. I already know they're coming towards you, but I'll pull a pyramid anyway, and I'll pull a timeline. But I need to dig into the devil. I don't have to look for the devil. He's right there. There's more here. We'll look into your soul contract and see what it is, maybe. Again, I've done it before in the past, but we, sometimes they get updated, you know, like software. Um, there's a lot here. This person here is realizing some things that they've been the cause of their own problems, but also 
they had the power to fix this the whole time and they never did anything. Uh, and for some of you, all they had to do was say one thing and they never did it. And with the soul awake here, it's time to make a decision. But they are who they are and that's part of the devil as well. So we'll find out. It's going to be one hell of some wicked voodoo in that extended, no doubt about it. We'll also pull on the tower because there's some interesting energy around that. About As their feminine energy comes up, you know, they start to feel some things. The Sesame Street Hierophant makes things very clear. It's good that Oscar the Grouch is changing, though. I like that. So I hope this reading was helpful. If you want the extended, I do. I'm going to take a little orange walk before it out in the wind to get fueled up. If you want the extended, the link is in the description. All right? Wow. Yeah, I hope you do. It's a powerful month, just like October. I wouldn't miss it. The archer's going to take the shot, but how and why is very interesting. I'm interested in the energies around your person, too, very much. All right, that's your reading. Hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, good luck.